Don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. Okay, this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead. Open it. If you dare. <laughs> Watch it. Dude, check it. Oh, hey, Riggs. Uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy. He scares me. <laughs> hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know, when are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? anything except that metal is dead so final mind you ever feel like you were born in the wrong time like you should have been born earlier when the music was real like the 70s earlier like the early 70s uh oh I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother fucking piece of shit! Please let him fall. Damn it. A good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, he don't even know he's there. Once in a while, he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone.
Huh? Ooh. Huh? The day has finally come for us to serve our master. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kind of sexy, though, in a weird way. Hmm. Okay. Here goes. Um, oh man, I get this thing moving. Near evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things and SM type wear. You know, you guys really have style. That battle nun, <laughs> she was hot. Uh, Sorry about killing her, uh, but you're evil though, right? So we're cool. I didn't even know I could do that. By your good graces, uh-oh. Ah, I meant evil! Evil graces! Ah, son of a- Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. Is it a minecart? I call it the Druid Plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo hoo hoo hello. Looks like it's working already. You have awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. Come on! Fucking sick of you guys! All right, while I'm slaying these dudes, you get that gate open, okay? God, she's awesome. Oh, uh, sorry. Did you know those dudes?
<laughs> You'll never French kiss again. What's French kissing? Uh, it's, uh... The, um, gate's open. What? Oh, the gate. What's that? I couldn't hear you. It's like you got a lisp or something. Over here, you foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may sweat <laughs> my blade on your hey, knock that off! and trails. Decapitation! There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you if... Hang on. I shall now teach you of French kissing. Like the car. Yeah. Can't wait to show it to Lars. Daviculus, they say it was the fire beast Omogodon himself? No. Far, far worse than me. It was Sakoria. I can smell her blood. The season of pain is upon us. But why has she returned now? What does she want? War. Finally. Ophelia, what demon have you allowed to follow you home this time? Oh, hello. Don't mind Lita. She's Lars' little sister. A little high strung. Lars! So let me get this straight. These performers, they don't even have to tune their own instruments? Nah, that's our job. The roadies. The rock star's job is just to deliver the audience to the promised land of rock. Fascinating. Um, can we get back to the part where you were summoned here from another world? Oh yeah, by this little guy here. You were brought here by Orma Godin? The eternal fire beast? The cremator of the sky. Destroyer of the ancient world. Yeah, I accidentally got a little blood in its mouth and it totally went nuts on me. There are those who speak of a day when Orma Godin the fire beast shall bring a warrior into this world. To destroy us. To deliver us. There is some dispute about the translation. But having met you, I can tell that you are here to help us. To lead us. To wage war against the demons. To liberate humanity. Hell yeah! I mean, hold on a second. I don't know anything about waging war, but uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know from meeting you, Lars, that you are the true leader here, not me. What I know is how to put a crew together and how to keep it organized and how to take it on the road. That, my friend, is exactly what we need. But I'm sure you must be longing to return to your homeland. <sighs> All right. So where's your army, Lars? We have none. General Lionwhite has taken away most of our young men to toil in his mines. And he's taken our women to serve as slaves in his decadent pleasure tower. Well, let's go get him back. No, you are not to go near Lionwhite again. You were almost impaled last time. 
Compromise. We'll get the dudes first, and then they can help us get the ladies. But- Time to break the chains! I'll show you the mines, but I think you'll find these chains very hard to break. So this is it. The crushing pit. Hundreds of our strongest young men toiling their lives away, like their fathers and grandfathers before them, given no tools, forced to break solid rock with nothing but their own thick skulls. Well, come on, let's bust them out of there. Where's the gate? There is no gate. What? They have nowhere to go. No idea how to function outside the pit. Society has no use for them, so they stay underground. I wish I could help them, but I mean, what do you do with a bunch of kids who don't know how to do anything but bang their heads all day long? You start a revolution, Lars. Right now! It's time to sound the battle cry. Have you been looking at my sword? I need to get back to Bladehenge before Ophelia does something dangerous. I'll meet you back there, with an army fit for a king. Whoa. What is that sound? It's a devil screaming. It's an angel singing. It is the pounding of creation's hammer upon the anvil of time. It's fucking awesome. It's called heavy metal. And it's the real reason you should bang your heads, not for that guy. Yeah! Screw this place! Yeah! Let's get out of here! Metal! Hey, hang on, guys. I know we're all struggling right now, but I'm telling you, this is all gonna pay off really soon. Yeah, our manager says that if we just work hard and produce a high-quality product, that we'll be able to move up to cush guard jobs in the General's Pleasure Tower. There's gonna be piles of chicks and and stuff. We're with him. Hey man, sorry, but we got a sweet gig here, and we're not about to let you grease bags ruin it. Guard! Guard! Riot! Walk out! Guys over there say they're organizing a union. We'll go sound the alarm. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I have wanted to do that forever. That's for killing Charlie, you bastard. Whoa. <laughs> hey, okay. See how much ass you dudes kick when you band together like that? That's awesome. Now with just a little bit of practice. I bet I can turn you dudes into a well-oiled machine of death. You into it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, first, when I do this, it means you gotta follow me, okay? Okay, let's try it. Okay, now, opposite style. When I do this, it means don't follow me. Stay put, defend this hollowed ground, got it? Uh -huh. Defend this pile of crap with your very lives. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn around now. And if I see anyone following me, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Yes! You guys pass. For now. But now we gotta huddle up for the big finale. Now this time we're gonna mix it up. I'll defend this area, while you dudes go kick the shit out of that statue over there. Yeah! Let's do it! Okay, so when I do this, you go completely nut shit on whatever I'm pointing at, okay? Get ready? Lion White sucks. Death to Lion White! I hate statues! Well done. I'm proud of you boys. But to build an army big enough to take on the real Lion White, we're gonna need some more dudes. We gotta bust all your fellow headbangers out of these stupid mines. What do you say? Are you with me? You got mittens? 
Traitors, animals, I'd rather see you dead than free. Cripple the grinding gyre. Burn the ungrateful man cubs. Enough! You think you've killed them all, don't you? Well, you forgot my favorites, my managers, the ones who keep all the other workers in line. The only two I know I can always count on. Fear and pain. new army iron head with an e on the end so people know we're not messing around iron head i like it right on. i don't get it so let's get back to blade hands and get this army started iron head i see you guys have already met lars and lita and uh ophelia where is Where's Olofs, anyway? Uh-oh. Ophelia! Oh, no. You didn't try to free the girls, too, did you? No. They're already free. We have to take her to the Killmaster. Lars, no. Lion White knows about us now. We need to lay low. Out of my way. You have to stop him. Please. Stop him? I'm gonna give him a lift. Lars! How is she? Fading. We need to take her to the Killmaster. The what? Do not fear him. He chooses that name to scare off intruders. Oh. And protect his flock of giant spiders. He is a powerful healer. All right, let's take Ophelia to him now. I tried. Ambushed on the path. Lion white loyalists. I can handle those guys. Just follow me. We must hurry. Hey. Hey, leave that guy alone. Uh-oh. Ah, what the hell. Noble Killmaster, this woman... Didn't you see the signs? We don't like visitors up here. But she's dying. Yeah, so what's her excuse? I beg of you, heal this woman who wanted only to free her sisters from the grip of General Lionwhite. Oh, you're fighting Lionwhite? <sighs> Why didn't you say so? I hate that bastard. Let's see now. Hmm. What's happening? People are pissing me off for one. Is she dead? Not yet, but soon. These are the heaviest strings I got. Can't your spiders spin new strings? Thicker strings? My little darling's here? No. The Metal Queen is big enough to spin the kind of strings you need. 
but we don't go into her lair anymore unless she bites us in half, suck out our innards, and lay her eggs in our eye sockets. I'm going. Then you'll both be dead, and what good is that? I've got to get those strings, Lita. No, Lars, listen. You have to let her go. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <gasps> what? I'm headed into the lair of the giant spider queen. Anybody got a problem with that? My friend is dying. I'm heading in there now. You sure you don't want to talk me out of it? No? Okay. I would ask nicely for some of your giant bass strings, but you don't strike me as the negotiating type, so out of personal respects, I'll just get right to the ass kicking. That took way too much time. If I'm gonna get these to the Killmaster in time, I'm gonna have to book. as a baby's arm. Lars, I can always count on you, can't I? You know, we could really use guys like you and your men in our band. I mean, army. I ain't much of a joiner, but I'll do anything if it pisses off Lion White. Drag your wounded up here before they die, and I'll heal them all. All right, come see us in Bladehenge sometime. Got some new t-shirts coming in, I'll totally hook you up. Nice Thunderhawk, man. You make that badass heel mobile yourself? <laughs> hey, you about done? Let me check that out. So, uh, when are you gonna tell us how you got hurt? I'm not. Why? Because then you wouldn't let me go back and finish the job. No, that's Lars. I like watching you fight. All right, meet me at the Razor Fields if you want to see some more. But please, don't tell Lars, okay? Ladies? I'd like you to meet my Razor Girls. All of these women have escaped from General Lion White's Pleasure Tower. With your help, I suppose? I've kept them a secret for their own protection, but now they want to fight, and I'm here to arm them. With... Pigs? The carcass of the razor fire boar, when properly dissected, can be turned into a powerful long-range weapon. This is what almost killed you, isn't it? Well, if you're gonna try it again, I'm gonna help. What are we waiting for? Let's go! This time, though, let's keep the doctor nearby, just in case. I'm gonna drive a couple of them over this way. You stay put until it's time to attack, okay? But when do I get a car? <laughs> What's it do? Not much, until we rip out the gizzards, flush the chamber, and ream the barrel. Hey, get busy. We need a lot more. Right. Hell of a bird you got there, Eddie. All right, I think we got it. Let's clean these up. We got bigger pigs to slaughter. 
I gotta clean up a little. Meet us back in Bladehenge for a weapons demo? Ready? Ladies, welcome to Bladehenge. Excellent. When do we attack? Attack! We're under attack! See the warning lights? What's happening? General Lion White's army has been spotted on the move, headed this direction. What's the plan? The plan? The plan is victory. Lars, this isn't a fortress. Uh, how can we stand our ground here? I can build you something quick. Trust me, man, we can put on a hell of a show in a hurry. Bring your best engineer and meet me in the northeast field. I got a plan. Mangus, are you an engineer? What's an engineer? No idea. Come with me. This is the direction they'll attack from, you think? Yes. From there. Then this is where we'll build our stage. I think we got enough stuff here to put on possibly the best rock show ever. A show? Hey man, where I'm from, this guitar makes noises. Here, it blows stuff up. So I can't wait to see what a full-on rock show does. Young man, welcome to the road crew. Get some friends, we got stuff to do. Now? Right on! Okay, rear floods. Rear floods. Nice. Okay, side pots. Side pots. Awesome. Okay. Glowing people? Check. Wait, where's the button for glowing people? By the Titans. I've heard stories. The Titans were said to have summoned a force from deep within the ground with special rituals. Chants and, and music long forgotten. They used this force to power their entire civilization. They do seem to have an energy about them. They're fans. They've come for the show. And yes, with the energy of the fans, we can do anything. They look... bored. I can fix that. <gasps> oh. Fuck. Yeah! They're definitely our fans now. This is what it's all about, guys. The fans. Be true to them, and we can never go wrong. The more fans we have, the bigger shows we can put on. All they need from us? Rock. Oh, and merchandise. Quick, Mangus. We need to build a merch booth. Fans are gonna want t-shirts, posters, maybe hats. You see, Mangus, Band merchandise is like a wedding ring. It's a material thing, yes, but it's also a symbol of a deeper devotion that helps remind Lion me... Lion White's men have been seen approaching the field. What should we do? All right, it's showtime, folks. Everybody to your stations. Mangus, get in your booth and I'll call you when it's time to send someone to the stage. Boss, I'm already in the booth. Right, well, let's get some headbangers out here. Oh, oh my bad. It. Nothing. I think I just got shot in the back. Is there something stuck in there? Could you pull it out? I think whatever hit you, it's gone. Eh, don't worry about it then. I'm sure I'll feel better after I kill some guys. Oh, enough. I've never liked this town anyway. 
I don't know what's gotten into you, Lars, but I know one thing. You will regret what you've started here. Huh. For too long, we have lived in pits, waiting for good fortune to trickle down to us. But our days of waiting are over. We will not sit here and let Lion White decide what happens next. We will gather up this great army and take it on the road. We will march on Lion White and free every man, woman, and child in that city. And then, we will bring it crashing to the ground. Yeah. So you're like one of them handy types, I take it. Hack her up quick. I'll be back soon and we'll hit the road. Copy that. Ready to go? Just a few more hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. It gives me a little time to scrounge up some weapons for the druid plow. Eddie. Oh, sorry. Spaced out there for a bit. Back in a flash! It's about fucking time. Not bad. Looks like you figured out the instructions, okay? You've got some demon flesh on your bumper, but that's the way the world is today, I'm afraid. Who? Uh. Oh, me. Oh, I'm nobody. I I'm just a guardian of metal. Oh, wow, great. So, you want to help me fight demons and stuff? Nah. I'm not a fighter, I'm more of a, what should we say, a keeper of timeless secrets, that's all. Prove yourself worthy, maybe I'll share some with you. For instance, did you know that this world was once ruled by an ancient race of titans? Now they were something. They took every part of that old fire beast. They took his blood, his fire, his steel flesh. They even took his scream, and they made that car there, and a million other things, including music. Fucking beautiful music, man. And when they rose to the heavens and became gods, they left instructions behind. How to make cars, music, the whole deal. Do you think anybody noticed? <laughs> nah. Bunch of wankers. No one figured out any of it. Until you, whoever you are, so, you must be somewhat worthy of the gods' favor, I suppose. So listen, if you do something that pleases the gods, they might reward you. With a fire tribute. <laughs> when they've paid you enough tributes, come see me. I'll share some more secrets of metal with you. Like, uh, how to turn that little beast you got over there into a real monster. Among other things. Got it? Wait, what do I have to do for a fire tribute? Please the fucking gods of metal, man. Figure it out. Right. Okay. I'll be back soon. Covered in metal god love. Oh, God. Ready to go? Just a few more hours. You got 20 seconds. It's time to go. I only need 10. Let's go! No sleep till Battersmith. No matter what happens, keep driving, Mangus. No problem. You never taught me how to stop this thing anyway. I'll take care of anyone or anything that tries to stop us.
That's the main barracks of Lion White's guard. And beyond it, the cleave of the Impaler. Lion White's tower is just on the other side of them. What are we waiting for? Mangus, unload the bus. When I get back, battle time. Ready? Uh, just about. Is it time? Mangus, the hour of rock is upon us. Oh, man. Okay. Break's over, people. Oh, my God. Get away from those fans! You... you leeches! <sighs> Boss! Eddie! My back! <laughs> Edward! Those druids at the temple. They must have poisoned their blades with demon venom. Will remind me to send him a thank you note. I feel great. You need to lay down in the bus. <laughs> Listen to me, I know you're all freaking out right now, but I promise you, I feel fine. I may have been stung with some sort of poison demon juice, but I'm sure the effects are temporary. I'm still just your old pal, Eddie. So before this infection wears off, I say we use it to our advantage. Let us not fear this blessing from the Titans! He's right. Everyone get ready for battle. The enemy is upon the field. I was afraid this would happen. Don't worry about me. I've always kind of wanted wings. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to dream about it all the time. I hope my parents were wrong about this. I should have known better than to hire guards whose hands are bigger than their brains. You're all fired. Every fat, worthless one of you. Stop, Edward. They are no longer working for Lion White. They are no longer our enemies. Our real enemy is through there. Let us move forward. Got the stage all packed up, boss. Ah, see? I'm already cured. I told you it was nothing to worry about. Stop right there. If you can make it through the cleave alive, then you must work for General Lion White. Oh, knock it off, Lita. They work with me. So that's how you smuggled them out. But how did they get through the cleave undetected? Yeah. Let me guess. You guys are really great at hauling stuff. You hang out in the shadows. You only wear black. And you're really hard to see from far away? What? I don't... My friends, these are roadies. And they're here just in the nick of time. They're gonna get us through this canyon, but first they're gonna need some monster amps. You mean... like those of the Screaming Wall? I'm not sure, but I like how that sounds. Okay, meet me at the Screaming Wall with your roadie friends, and we'll see if they can carry a little extra wattage. What are those guys doing here? They want to help out. They feel bad. Okay, but I can't be holding their hands the whole time. <laughs> Get it? Because their hands are too big. Are you ready to see the screaming wall? Let's hit the trail. Okay, watch out for rock slides. And seagulls. Seagulls? Okay, you guys want to help out? All right, then, can you do this? Great, now over here. 
I'll be right back. I'm helping. Careful with those, the feedback from them is deadly. Lift with your knees, not your backs. You got it? Okay, let's head out. You thought of everything, didn't you? Well, I wanted to make sure you got back before your boyfriend got jealous. Oh, don't say stupid stuff. Hey, it's pretty clear you love Lars. Of course I do. He's a great man. An inspirational leader. Selfless, heroic. Not that hard to look at, either. His chest... He's like a brother to me. Would you mind if we went back separately? I just don't think a bunch of gossip would help us right now, okay? Gotcha. All right, are you people ready? Yeah, for like an hour. How about you? Bring on the impalement. First off, we're gonna kill that tower. I think they know we're coming. Ooh, let's take that down. That would break Lars's heart. And you're hoping to save that pleasure for yourself? They don't trust me. They think I'm a tear drinker. Why do they think that? Because my parents fought in the Black Tear Rebellion. It was a long time ago, but now none of them will ever really trust me. No matter how much I do for our cause. Now I've told you, now you won't trust me either. I trust you. Until they turn you against me. Here. My dad gave me this. He said it belonged to my mother. It's the only thing I have of hers. I trust it to you. No matter what? No matter what. What treachery is this? No one shall kill Lion White this day but I. What's the holdup? What holdup? I was waiting for you. Dude, you were supposed to set up the stage an hour ago. Lars is really mad. Uh-oh. Hey, what's the holdup? Lars is really mad at you guys. Oh, bravo. Goody. Someone is putting on a puppet show. Honestly, you people embarrass me. I try to show Emperor Deviculus that we humans aren't all dirty, brutish animals. I show him that we can be refined, we can be beautiful, and that we can be profitable. I do it to protect you people from Deviculus. I am the only thing standing between you and him. And what do you give me in return? Grief. The time has come for you to shut the hell up, Lion White. You enslaved your own people for profit. Stole from us our dignity and our history. The Titans who came before us left a precious gift in our hands, and you exploited it, cheapened it, sold it out for your own commercial gain. The powerful music of the past. You almost made us forget about it. Almost. Today we shall hear it again. The music of a free people. From the singing of our blades through your flesh, to the pounding of our fists into your skull. For the honor of Bladehenge, for the freedom of its people, and for the glory of its metal! Hey, what's the deal? 
I thought you were committed to this project. Get back inside right now. Now we can finally live in peace. Lion White was only a puppet. He was not our true oppressor. Emperor Deviculus will not let us live in peace. Ever. We can hide from him. No. We are done with that. We will keep marching down the Great Highway until we are at Deviculus's doorstep. And then we will truly end this. Once and for all. You coming to the after party? Got some bad news for you, buddy. Ready to hit the road? The problem is that something already hit it. Lion White's house. Oh, yeah, crap. Well, there must be some way around it. We could take that old aqueduct up into the mountains and come down the other side. Oh, yeah, that road leads all the way back down to the Sea of Black Tears, doesn't it, Ophelia? Hold on a second. That leads up to Fire Baron country. I ain't going up there. Oh, those old pyromaniacs are long gone. They left the mountain as soon as General Poodlehair showed up. Trust me, they'll be back. When we least expect it, they'll sneak up on us from behind. Oh, man. That gate looks really strong. It's gonna take forever to break through that. Dude, how about this? How about you take off your fucking diaper, Lay down your little baby Fufu and go do your fucking job right now. Dude, not cool. I wear this thing so I don't have to stop the bus to take a leak. Lars, aren't you worried that we're pushing our luck with this plan? My little sister, nothing can shake my faith in the future of our people. The days ahead hold only the promise of happiness and sunshine and... Ridiculous. Enough. Sakoria. Why? You disrupt my industry, but I understand. You try to make me look bad so you can strip me of my power. A very commendable sabotage. You destroy my servant's colony, but I do not blame you. It was an abomination which we permitted only to keep the human warlord obedient. But what I cannot comprehend is, why do you live amongst these humans? Your mission was to spy on them, not to join them. I know it was you at the temple of Ormagodon. I could smell your blood then. Just as I can smell it now. <laughs> Let us wage war, Sikoria. A terrible and beautiful war. But don't live amongst these dogs for one more day or we may never get their stench off of you. These dogs... These are free men and women, and they no longer serve you or anyone else. Do not dare to speak to me, you insect! Who do you think you are? I am proud to say that these free humans have named me their king. Well, in that case... It seems I had less to worry about than I thought. Lars! My little sister. You must take care of her. Get him to the bus. You son of a...
on the bus to get out of here. We'll catch up. Go! Come on. We made it. We're safe. He can't protect you anymore. No one can. Lita. She sold us out. Told them we were coming. Lita, why would I do that? Because of the black water still thick in your veins. You crave it. You do anything to get it. Trade anything. Well, don't worry. I'll cut holes in your coffin and bury you so deep the sea's dark fingers will be sure to find you. Lita, don't make me do this. Ha! Ugh! Will you not let me avenge my brother? Let you? I'll help you avenge your brother, but first I need to talk to Ophelia. Alone. Don't, Edward. She'll manipulate you, like she did with Lars. Wait here. Man, what are we gonna do with her? She's gone nuts. What did he mean? About your mission? What? To spy on us. Divicolous. He wasn't talking about me. Oh, right, Sicoria. So who's that? I... I can't tell you. Can't tell me? What are you hiding from us? I was trying to protect you. Protect me? Or protect yourself? I was doing it for you. Doing what? Leading us into a trap? You said you'd trust me. I did. And in return, you kept secrets from me. And now Lars is dead. What do I care if you turn your back on me? <laughs> just like the rest of them. You're just like the rest of them. They warned me that something like you might return. They warned me about a lot of things. But I just don't care anymore. Mangus, are you on the board? <clears throat> Too early, man. Take a look down here. It's later than you think. Oh, shit. So be it. Let us not keep death waiting. that murdered the general. Right then. Burn the other guys. Ophelia. 
Now do you see what she's capable of? She has merchandise. Do you finally see? The Black Tears are the source of her power. But the Sea of Black Tears was sealed. Forever. Where have you guys been? Dravikulus opened up the sea right after Linewhite bit it. We had to keep moving north just to get away from these gloomy mothers. Deviculus? Why? To set human against human. To let the uprising destroy itself. Again. It's time to get out of here. But where are we gonna run to? To the Sea of Black Tears. That's suicide! Come we come! I'm gonna go do a little solo recon. When I find a way to get the bus over the gorge, I'll give you a buzz. Hey, no rush. Yeah, you see, Mangus? Those guys from Yore really understood the value of craftsmanship. And look, people are using it already. Hey, look, Eddie. I finally got myself a car. It's got a special seat in the back, just for you. Ophelia, what have you done? Well, you know, after you tore out my heart and left me for dead, I'll admit I was a little down. But then I pulled myself together, started making new friends. Deviculus is not your friend. Can't you see he's using you as a tool against us? And I began to use all that stuff you taught me, Eddie. And you know, you taught me so much. You taught me about trust, and loyalty, and betrayal. And you also taught me the power of music. Here's a little song that I've been dying to play for you. Mangus, back up. So much for driving to our deaths at the Sea of Black Tears. No, 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 I can fix this. But it's gonna take about 5,000 cubic buttloads of scaffolding to do it. Uh, what? Yeah, I know. The only place that has the stuff we need. Yep! Is back in Bladehenge. So come on. What are we waiting for? been gone a while. Look, one enemy at a time. Let's take care of Ophelia first, and then we'll come back here and run the ugly kids out of town, okay? We'll have a huge party, I swear, but first we need some scaffolding. There's the stuff. The cubic buttload? Yeah, more or less. Well, let's call Manga so we can get out of here. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, it's all loaded up. Now can we please get out of here before someone... Notices us! Everybody in the bus, move!
Dude, you know I love the pyro, but from now on we gotta be a little more stealthy. We're trying to surprise Ophelia, remember? Hey, man, it's okay. We made it. You gotta chill out. What the hell was that? You don't want to know. Okay, I got a plan. Burn him? No. Run him over with the bus? No. Poison catnip? No, I'm gonna recruit them. They're gonna join our army. Tell me you're joking. Dead serious. So here's the plan. We are gonna ensnare the beasts in a ring of fire. Then Lita drops down on the beast from above and rides it into a cage. What cage? The one you're gonna build. How am I supposed to control them? With your stubborn and forceful personality. And then what? You'll just sweet talk them into fighting for our side? No more questions! I can't tell you the whole plan right now, okay? You might get captured. It's for your own protection. Okay, let's settle up! Okay, this is the area where we're gonna trap him to make it easier for Lita to pounce. Easy. Right. Fire in the hole! Jump, Lita, jump! Yeah! Huh. Yeah! Huh. Yeah! All right, get in there. You see? I knew they could be ridden. I wasn't riding them, I was holding on for my life. There's no way to really ride these things. Not true. The Zalia do it all the time. The who? The Zalia. These beast companions and... Protectors. Yeah, so, uh, long story short, I'm from the future, and I'm here to recruit you for my army. We're already an army, and you're not welcome to join it. You? No, that ain't me. That's my dad. Eddie, that's a famous warrior of our time. Not yours. He was the leader of the Black Tear Rebellion. His name was Rignor... Rignorok. He fought alongside the Zalia. He gave us the skills to defend ourselves when the black water last rose. Yeah, he gave me something too. I found this in his attic after he died. Apparently there's a lot about my dad I don't know. But it seems one thing I do know is that he, somehow, once fought at your side when your land was in danger. So I ask you, will you fight at our side now? If you will still have us in your army, son of Rignarok. All right, so my old man, it turns out, did a little time traveling of his own. Big deal. And while he was in town, he might have fought in the same army as Ophelia's parents. Does that mean you don't trust me now? Your father was a hero. The only one of his army to resist the temptation of the tears. The only one to survive. When they poisoned his army, Rignarok left on his own for one final mission. To assassinate the Emperor of the Demons. He was never seen again.
So Deviculus opened the Sea of Black Tears back then to destroy my father's army, just like he's doing now. Do you think... do you think you were sent here to finish your father's mission? It's not his mission anymore. It's mine. All right, everybody. We're headed into the swamp. If you're allergic to leeches, get on the bus. You gonna be safe out there? Don't worry about me. I got a ride. Hey, where'd everybody go? Did I run them all over? Wouldn't know if you did. This bug is thick as hell. Wow. This stuff is better than any fog machine I've ever used. I think it would really help our stage show. You mean, from a defensive point of view? Uh, yeah, that too. You guys stay on guard. I'm gonna go scout it out. Right. Time to grab this ice. Now? Yeah. My only worry is that we're not alone here. Ophelia? What... happened to you? Do you really want to know? Oh, don't worry. This song only hurts me. see something dangerous and I like it I think it's time I show had a second stage all right caravan time you ready to die jeez man I'm freaked out enough already you have to talk like that sorry just trying to get you in the mood for death <laughs> which is waiting for us down the road let's hit it oh man I'm ready, Mangus. To die. <laughs> well done. In the future, this is referred to as getting served. You think you're the only time traveler this world has known? The demons beat you to it long ago. They sent their own emperor into the future. 
to take back the lost secrets of the Titans. Probably just did that to escape getting whacked by my dad. Oh no. I heard he went along for the ride. Ah, uh, don't run! I know where you live! I know. I'll be waiting for you in the deep end. So there it is. The Sea of Black Tears. Huh, it's really more of a lake of black tears, isn't it? If what she said is true, if Rignarok went forward in time with the Emperor... Then so what? Obviously that was part of my old man's plan, because in the future there aren't too many demonic Emperor overlords walking around. Except at record companies. I just don't think it's a good idea anymore for you to fight Ophelia. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Definitely. Hey. Let's get set up for one last show. Yeah, one last show. What if Lars could see us now, eh, Eddie? He wouldn't be surprised, really. You always said you'd lead us to a better life. You've done so much for us. Never gotten much credit, or even time to rest. And you know, we've never had much time to get to know each other, not really. Have you ever wondered, Eddie, what if... Mm. I don't sweat it. I'll take care of this one. I'm gonna finish my father's mission and kill the Emperor. Don't make me kill you too. Are you forgetting that the Emperor and your father were traveling companions? Yeah, the Emperor and my dad went to the future. But then the Emperor came back here, ironically, just to be killed by me. The Emperor never came back. What? I've seen him. You were with me when we saw Emperor Diviculus, remember? What? <laughs> You think Diviculus, you think he was the Emperor back then? <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> Lita? I want to go up there and end this myself. But I just feel like I don't have the stomach for it anymore. Some people can run on vengeance forever, but not you. You're a leader. A hero. Just like Lars. And you? I'm not going up there for vengeance. What are you going up there for? I'm just cleaning up a mess. Yep. That's my job. Bye, Eddie. How do we stop this, Ophelia? One of us has to die. Okay. I nominate the person who sold us out to the demons. You're right. Better you than me. Please do not stop. You two have been having such an entertaining war. I see you called in your boyfriend for help. A eh, Sicoria? No, uh, wait. Sicoria? Sicoria? This girl, this sad human girl. <laughs> oh, you think she is the grand demon witch? The white winged death? <laughs> this soggy puppet couldn't hold a candle to Emperor Sakoria. 
The Emperor was our most fierce, our most bloodthirsty warrior. Oh, I'll admit I was pleased when she left our time, her throne unattended. But when she did not return, I mourned for her. I thought she had failed. What are you talking about? She did fail. My father killed her, right? She's never coming back. <laughs> That's not um, exactly what your father did to her. The road can be a lonely place, don't you think? No, she succeeded in sending us a great wealth of secrets. Not from the future, but from our past. Through the vessel of her own child. Thank you, son of Sakoria, for completing your mother's mission, for teaching us the secrets of the Titans, and ensuring our rule over this land forever. But you said... That I smelled her blood in the temple. I did, just as I can smell it now. <laughs> Coursing through your veins. No way. Imagine my relief when I found out it was just you, and not Sakoria, back to fight me for the throne. Why are you acting so surprised? You're wearing her shirt. You're wielding her axe. No, we may finally crush this Black Tear rebellion forever. Starting like we did the last time. By tearing out. It's hard. Oh. Ophelia! Oh, please. That was nothing compared to what you did to her. You made her into a little monster. Now let me show you how to make a big one. Let it go. Mangus, get back on the board. your mother refused my advances all those years ago. Because at least I know you're not my son. There aren't many who can say that. That one was for Lars! I'll give it up. 
Whatever victories your demon blood grants you will soon be unraveled by your human weakness. Come and see me when you grow a pair as big as your mother's. Hope he's talking about horns. Son of Sakoria, suckled by the dry teat of man. You are half so many things, I doubt any part of you is whole. Is there even a word for a creature such as you? Yeah, I'm a roadie. I keep the trash off the stage. I knew that wasn't the real you. Tonight, we are here to celebrate a great man, a true hero, who fought by our side, who led us to freedom, who believed in us when no one else did. A man who should never be, who will never be forgotten. When Lars Halford fell, the cause seemed lost. But it survived, because there was another great warrior in our midst. Let us not forget the sacrifice and bravery of Lita Halford, everybody. Um, <clears throat> my brother saw goodness in people, even in people for whom I had nothing but suspicion. Now I hope that we can stand together. I hope we can all stand together. For the honor of Bladehenge, for the freedom of its people, and for the glory of its metal!
Hey, man. You're missing the party. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I'm more comfortable back here. Yeah. Oh, here. I got something for you. Aw, oh, Mangus, you didn't have to get me. Hey, wait. This is my tour book. <laughs> yeah, I swiped it. And it seems you wrote on it. Well, I wanted to leave you a little note, and then some of the other guys wanted to sign it for you. Don't forget about us, man. Dudes, I'm not going away. I just got a couple errands to run. I'll be right back. You better. I'm not doing the loadout by myself. You don't have to do the loadout at all. We're staying here for good. The tour is over? Yeah, man. The tour is over. We're home now. A good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, he don't even know he's there. Once in a while, he might step on stage just to fix a problem, to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he's gone. 